the trial of the Chicago 7, yes. right? I want to shout out to Neo, yeah. uh, Neo Soul. She, yeah. she was on her Facebook and she said, you guys should be watching this. She just yeah. put it on the timeline. Yeah. And I went over and I, Neo Soul, she used yeah. to shop with me when she was in yeah. uh, Cleveland, yeah. right? She's a, a, a Neo Soul artist, right? Neo Soul, and so I want to shout out to her yeah. because she said you should be watching this. So yeah. we went right over there and said, "Let's watch this." Yeah. And so we watched this, and it is jam packed, filling in the gaps, yes. right? Filling in the gaps, yeah. right? The trial of the Chicago Seven, yes. 2020. Yes, it is on. What is it Netflix. playing on? Netflix. Yep. 2020 film ensemble cast, yes. right? Yes. So let's see, Sasha. Baron Cohen. Yes. Sasha Baron Cohen yes. acts in this. I mean, yeah, we it. know him as well. Borat. Right? Yeah, that's right. Uh Abby he he portrays Abby Hoffman. Yeah, he did a great job. Eddie Romaine. Right. Eddie Romaine right. is Tom Hayden. Okay. Joseph Gordon Levitt is okay. Richard Schultz. Okay. Uh Yaya Abdul Martin the second portrays Bobby Seal. Yeah, great job. Uh, Kevin Harrison Jr. portrays Fred Hampton. And there's some yeah. information that they give you in this film that is shocking about yeah. Fred Hampton yeah. in this film that you did not know. Yeah. You know, sometimes when they do documentaries, they don't tell you what's going on yeah. simultaneously at the same. So this film fills in gaps about Fred Hampton and we're gonna come back to that, right? Yeah. Uh, Jeremy Strong is uh, Jerry Rubin, yes. right? Um, Jer okay, I always said Jeremy Strong. Right. Um, Mark Relance is William Crutchler. Uh, Kinsler. Uh, Kinsler, right? Yes. Michael Keaton, is Ramsey Clark. Yep. John Carroll Lynch is David Dillinger. Dillinger. Yeah. The judge kept calling him J Dillinger yeah. like like the famous bank robber John Dillinger, but his yeah. name was Dellinger, right? And so that was one of the uh things, right? Yeah. Caitlin Fitzgerald is Daphne. Yeah. Very interesting character, Daphne. And Alex Sharp is Rennie Davis, right? Yeah. So this is more of a thought. This is more thoughts on the piece than it is a synopsis. Yeah. Various grassroots organizations yeah. converge on Chicago for the 1968 Democrat Convention. Remember, what's happening in 1968 where the where protests would be coming down on the Dixiecrats in 1968, right? right. 15,000 protesters from various anti-war groups right. were not issued a permit for Grant Park, right? Mm -hmm. So 15,000 people converged on Grant Park, right? Eight were indicted on conspiracy. Eight defendants out of 15,000 people wow. were indicted on conspiracy. Though none knew each other, okay. a, a couple of them like came from the same organization, so they might have been two here, mm -hmm. two there, but for the most part, the eight okay. did not know each other okay. right before the protests. Now, here's what's interesting about Fred Hampton, right? Mm -hmm. Here's what's interesting about Fred Hampton. Fred Hampton lived in Chicago. He was the member of the Illinois. He was the head president. He was the president of the head of the chapter of the Black Panther Party in Illinois based in Chicago. Fred Hampton was at the trial because Bobby Seal was wrongfully arrested because he was not even there when the protest kicked off, but they were trying to railroad Bobby Seal. But you'll see that in the trial of the Chicago 7 because originally 
Yeah. The you will see original posters if you go on the net and you look it up you'll see conspiracy the conspiracy eight free the conspiracy eight but he was not even there and you will see what happens to his situation why they call it the trial of the chicago seven right but fred hampton was in there giving him advice because they did not allow him to have a lawyer right Fred Hampton was murdered by Chicago police while the trial was on. Yep. So while the trial was happening and he was there every day to support yep. Bobby Seal, right. he and his pregnant wife were shot were shot at. She survived. Right. He died. 4 a.m. in the morning, the right. police conduct a bum rush. There's a scene when the judge gives this wicked order, and 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 it's it's done, and it's taken out on Bobby Seal. You definitely get a feel of the climate of the time of right. the time. Mm -hmm. And when the judge gives this order, there after he did that, there was no doubt in my mind that he, in my opinion. Would have given an order to take to make sure. Or would have sure. been discussing or over discussing a backroom deal with back, some cigars and some Yeah, how to get rid of right, right. Fred Hampton. No doubt in my mind after seeing what he did. He to knew Bobby exactly Seale. who he was. Right. So let's go through it. I have to say truly that Sasha Baron Cohen okay. can mask who he is, right. and I didn't know it was him. But anyway. Cinematography, the way that they tell the story with this, like when you look at this, this is an actual shot from the movie that they made into the poster. Okay. And the low angle high shot showing the uh, diminish that the person that's in the middle, one of the, which is actually uh, Sasha Baron Cohen as uh, Abby Hoffman, Hoffman right? Yeah. How menacing. This is, it's a low ankle high shot. How menacing mm -hmm. this is being a small person being taken on by the United States yeah. government, right. Right? right? That's a 10. You know what, before you finish, Jeremy Strong, who's also another one of our um, favorite actors and we reviewed um, him on the show Succession, right? Succession is on HBO. Mm -hmm. And he played Jerry Rubin. Okay. And he did a great job playing Jerry Rubin. We were trying to, we were like, wait a minute, we know him. And we put the pieces together. We're like, okay, he's on the show Succession. He did a great job. Just like uh, Sasha uh, Baron Cohen. Cohen. They did a really great job with, well, you'll go over it, but the costume and design. Yeah. Like, they did a great job covering them up with the wigs, the mm -hmm. whole. Yeah, they did great. Yaya Abdul Martin the second is yeah. Bobby Seal. He played he played Bobby Seal yeah. to the vest. He you did. know what I'm saying? He didn't he show did. his emotions, but nope. yet he used his face to emote. It's yeah. beautifully done. Storyline through line is yeah. a ten. Yeah. Character arc yeah. is a ten. It's something about Tom Hayden. Okay. That his character arcs. It's an ensemble piece, right. and some of the characters are who they are already. Right. But Tom Hayden as a character arcs okay. throughout the film. You want to look out for that. Yeah. Acting skill and emoting. I already said that. That's a ten. Right. Wardrobe, cars, right. set, yep. putting you there. That's a ten. Yep. Locations that they shot in to represent Grant Park. The use of of tight end angles to represent lots of people, but you could tell if you if you're in film that it wasn't fifteen thousand extras out there to right. to do this. So they used a couple of hundred people and camera angles, right. tight end cropped angles made it bring you the chaos of having a large crowd of crowd of people. Story beats, how things connect. Something happens earlier in the film that comes back later in the film. That's a 10. Yeah. Believability yeah. is a 10. a 10. The historical facts in the film, it's a 10. It lets you know what the 
FBI as well as other investigating agencies of the government yeah. thought about what the Chicago police did that day. Right. You have to pay attention to what right. that what said. See, all of this is what we see is situations repeating themselves, yeah. right? Yeah. And we keep on repeating and being on that hamster wheel. We talk about the hamster wheel all the time. And these rulings have already come down from the federal government, from the Federal Bureau of Investigation, the CIA, and other investigating agencies about what police officers do. All we have to do is just go back and research that and apply, is this a conspiracy? Did they do it the way that they did it? That would make it a conspiracy hatched by the police. But we never think to go back that far and just look at historical facts. Uh, you know what, people, I have learned during this election season that people, there are some people that do not care about facts. Mm. They don't. But um, in Chicago 7, there was a great scene mm -hmm. with um, played by Jeremy Strong. Mm -hmm. He played Jerry Rubin. Mm -hmm. And do you remember the scene where, while all of these different people are taking a stand, it just is like above one up above his head that all of these were uh, informants. Right. And you know, like you said, that like some of them FBI, the CIA, and right. and they had them. Uh, as if they were just like the everyday people, everyday uh, people. part of the uh, movement, right. and it's just like they strategically place these people to help set them up. So people have to watch out because this is still going Antifa. on today, right? <laughs> it's still going on today. So what would you give the trial of the Chicago 7 now showing on Netflix? You know what? I, I would definitely give it a 10 because... It was worth the wait, you know, it was just well done. Um, I love all of the historical facts and information given. Mm -hmm. um, and then I want to say too, the judge, mm -hmm. Frank Langala did a great job because he really just like irritated me. I mean, he did a great job as a judge, but just so people know, the judge, because we know Fred Hansen's name and we know, um, Bobby Seale and Tom Hart and Abby Hoffman and but the judge was Julius Hoffman. Right. I don't know if he's still around today or not. Right, I, I would doubt he but was this, up in age then. This wicked, cruel judge, which was it was a disappointment to me because aren't you supposed to be the man who are, who is supposed to be objective and balance and keep a balance of order, law and order? Right. But when you see this film and see how this man carried himself and how cruel he was in the courtroom, Judge Julius Hoffman, yeah. a huge disappointment. But you know what? Chicago 7 is just well done. And um, yeah, a 10 for you. Uh, definitely a 10. And Yahya Abdul Mateen II, we talked about him in um, The Watchmen. That's right. He played, yeah. Yeah, right. right? So, in this, you need to watch the Watchmen. The Watchmen on HBO. That's right. And just when you said that he did a great job um, portraying Bobby Seals and the emotion, like all, like in his face, and the Watchmen, it was all in his face, in the eyes, because yeah, he was the his. blue man, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, but yeah, he did a great job. Right. But I would definitely so, give it a 10. So, for me, the Chicago 7 gets a set. No, I'm joking. Of course, <laughs> Chicago 7 gets, gets a, a 10. 10. Right, right. 